Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah Everybody. What is going on? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to Stefan Gilmore, cornerback for the Patriots. Uh, well, we all know about the Patriots. The Patriots won the Super Bowl last year. I'm assuming Stefan Gilmore probably played a, played a part in that. Um, is it normal to see a cornerback so high on the list? I'm not even sure. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Stefan Gilmore, number 22. Thanks for joining me. Let's do this. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. Big time player, made a big time play in Super Bowl. Oh, well, fancy that, eh? Big time play in the Super Bowl. Big time play in the Super Bowl. Fuck, it would be now. It would be. 22, where was he last year? Not even on the list. Right, let's get some stats. Stephen Styles Gilmore, born September 19th, 1990s. Two months older than me. Six foot one, 200 pounds. 10th pick in the 2012 draft. 10th pick. That's amazing. He's made two Pro Bowls. He made the first team All Pro last year. Super Bowl champion last year. He must have just got traded to the Patriots. What has he got? 4.38 second 40. 36 inches on the vertical. Looked like he had about 46 in that last one. 10 foot 3 inches for the broad jump. He got traded from Buffalo. He's played a total of 97 career games, 320 total tackles back there, 18 interceptions for 311 yards with an average of 17.3 yards. Now I'd say the cornerback's uh, interception return yards would have to be higher than that of like a safety or a linebacker because they're further back in the field. They've got more, more distance in front of them, uh, more space in front of them to run back but that's probably just because I'm stoned anyways guys let's get into it Stephon Gilmore I'll probably say play like the, the number one corner how did we not get on the list last year and now he's 22 Stephon Gilmore not only makes his debut on the top 100 but he's also the top ranked cornerback on the list wow what so he's been in he's the top 100 has been out since like 2011. He's been in the league since 2012. He has never been on the list. How is, and now he's coming at number 22. Like what the hell just happened this year? Or is it because of his Super Bowl play? <laughs> Yeah, it's literally, like, what I've got to remember is it's not about the previous years whatsoever. It's literally just that year. And all these players are probably briefed on that before they vote. Hmm. Not allowed to, he's not allowed to hold on to him, is he? We will get our game plan and Steph's match will be like, all right, Steph, you got him. The rest of the guys are going to go over here and play defense like you just got him. Me in a corner, I'm like, that's tough. Just put him on someone. Let me just go guard the best player on the field and just go take him out the game. He throws to the right in that pass. Get trapped. He's going to fight the hand. Play in the back foot and going through ground to create the deflection. This is all. Did he keep that? Awesome. 
risky. Almost took it. <laughs> it was fucking, it was Adams knocking it away from, from Gilmore. How does that work? Get that! Oh, that was a touchdown all day. Not when Gilmore's around. Oh! <laughs> nice play. See, it's not all about the tackle, is it? It's literally about getting that ball out of the hand at all costs. He just punched the shit out of that ball. That was a perfect punch. And I've been wondering where the play players actually try and do that. <laughs> like, a pl like, the running back's coming past them or whatever. Instead of going in for a massive tackle, why not just go laser focused on the ball? And just try and do a one punch and get it out, you know? Or not? Am I just... No, I think I'm getting carried away, actually. Uh, we got a all-out blitz coming. Of course, we were taking a shot. Uh, the best position to be in. Plenty of off covers. Uh, Jared... Yeah, this is in Super Bowl. Let me see this. <laughs> nice all job. Why does that one receiver stop? I'm watching these receivers, right? So we've got three over here, one over here. It's kind of like a tight end attack. Right? He turns in. The blitz is already on the quarterback. So he's got to throw it. This guy's just turned, waiting for the ball. He's open. But the ball's already left. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Where was that receiver looking? All out blitz Number 12. We shot, uh, he turns around right now. Okay. Actually, you know what? Blitz of course we were a shot, uh, they both are looking at the ball. They're both, they're both running backwards at the same speed, both looking at the ball. They both have an opportunity to do what they need to do to get to it. But because Gilmore's back in the field more, he can turn and actually jump towards the ball, whereas the attacker can't do that because he'll miss it completely, so he has to continue running. That's, that's, that's the traje trajectory that he's trying to get. That is the trajectory. 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 Traject trajectory. <laughs> Nick Minnett. Trajectory. Wow. I want to watch that receiver, what's he doing? Look, they're both looking for it. They're both looking for it now. They're both turning. But the receiver just can't get there. He can't get there in time. All he can do is watch. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's just got to the team. He's been there two years, just got to the team, and he's won a Super Bowl already and starred in it. And now he's on the top 100. I mean, he's got to be happy. I'm happy for him. Stephen Gilmore, awesome stuff. All right, next on the list, 21, Travis Kelsey. And uh, Travis Kelsey's actually, yeah, a name that I, I do recognize because I play Madden and I play with the Kansas City Chiefs. And I always use a tight end attack. Um, and Travis Kelsey's always the one on the hot route, and he's always the one that catches it. He always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Travis Kelsey, I'm sure he does that in real life as well. Number 87 for the Chiefs. 
See you soon. Peace out.